Well, here we are again. I'd like this to be informal so that everyone feels free to say what they need to. So let's start with the petitioner, Ruth Whitney. Miss Whitney, why do you want custody back? Well, Your Honor, I'm doing a lot better. I have a steady job, a place to live, and I miss them. Your Honor, may I say something? Yes? Ruth Whitney is first and foremost Matt and Megan's mother. Barbara Whitney never was and never will be. We know that. That is not the point of this hearing. I think that we should keep all of our legalese mumbo-jumbo out of it. Well, Ms. Rothman, I'd be happy to leave if you will. Remind me who the children in this custody case are. Enough, both of you. I want to hear from the people whose lives are affected by this, not you two. Ms. Whitney, I'm delighted you're doing better. But we're here because of the children. Do you think your children have been happy where they are? Well, yes. Then tell me why I should give them back to you. Because I love them and they're mine. No, they're not yours. They're not property. But they need me. Barbara already has a child of her own. She doesn't need mine. And from what we understand, she's been completely overwhelmed by it to the point of neglecting Matt and we me. We are not here to sling dirt. And Ruth Whitney is hardly in a position to judge anybody else's parental abilities. And why not? If your client is not a good parent, why shouldn't we know? Everyone's always attacking my client. It doesn't feel so good being on the receiving end, does it? Well, if you don't Stop. Like it. You know what? I'm sick of lawyers. Here's what we're going to do. I want everyone out of here except for Matt and Megan. Okay. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you both to tell me where you want to live and why. Megan, you go first. I like the country, but my mom does my hair. You're an idiot. Matt. So, Megan, if you had to live in just one place, where would it be? I love my mommy and I love Aunt Barbara, but she's been kind to Matt all the time since Laura came. Can I jump in here? See, see, she's too young to understand how deep that question is. What I want to know is, how come she can keep trying to turn our lives upside down? Why don't we have any rights? You do have rights. That's why we're here. That's why I'm talking to you. I want to stay with Aunt Barbara. We're a family, a real family. Nothing has changed, even if our mom is better. We want some stability. She doesn't get another gimme. Megan, do you agree? I don't know. What's a gimme? It's a do-over. You get to do something over. She doesn't get to do it over. Can I see the two Miss Whitney's? You each get one minute to state your case. That's not fair, Your Honor. I need more than a minute. Well, I don't have the kind of time it requires to work out what's wrong with you or your relationships. So give it your best shot. Okay, you go first. No way. Rebuttal has advantage. Oh, you would think of that. I should yeah. make the two of you live together. You go first. <sighs> Fine. For better or worse, I'm their mother, and I love them more than anything. I've gotten my life together. I shouldn't be punished for the rest of it. I want them back. I want another chance to show them how sorry I am and how much I care for them. Doesn't everyone deserve a second chance, Your Honor? Even me? Ms. Whitney? I do think people deserve a second chance. God knows I've had them. But at a certain point, I think we have to put away our own concerns and think about these kids. I don't think they want to go back. They're afraid. Afraid of their old life, of your old life. Afraid that this would happen again. Don't you think that they're the ones who deserve the second chance? It's clear that Matt wants to stay where he is, and that Megan has real issues she can't even begin to comprehend. 
I wish I could work out the difficulties, which I'm sure are complex between the two of you, but I can't. What I can do is right now, right here, ask the two of you to think about these kids and see if you can agree on some compromise that benefits them and not the two of you. Now, this isn't just about Matt and Megan, and it's not about what a bad mother I am. That's exactly what it's about. No, I think it's more about the fact that you didn't even want your own baby, that you can't even bond with your child. That's great parenting, if you ask me. Oh, you know, no one asked you. Because if they did, your definition of parenting would be to leave your kids locked in a car in front of someone else's house. Hey, that's not... That's enough. I've asked you nicely to resolve this, not to kill each other. My God, is it any wonder we're all here today? And if you can't behave like adults and put these children first, I will. And I guarantee you won't like my ruling. Let's begin again. Your mother and aunt would like to talk to you. Your mother and I think that we should both get to spend time with you, if you want. So, Maggie, you can stay with your mommy anytime you like. And Matt, I know that you don't want to leave Aunt Barbara's right now. But if you ever do, I'll be waiting. This is one of those rare occasions where the adults have decided to let the children be where they want to be when they want to be there. We'll call it joint custody at the discretion of the children. Take your things out to the car, sweetie. She'll be okay. Thanks for letting me take her. See, my own child hates me. Now I've lost Megan. I'm just dandy. It'll be okay. Megan will be back on Monday. Now come on. Don't minimize this. Sorry. Well, I think I've been a really good little soldier. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Lucinda. You've forgotten one thing that comes before that. What? Us. What about us? Well, as hard as the interpersonal relationships are, I can't imagine anyone I'd rather hobble down this bumpy, unpaved road with than you, Barbara Whitney. I love you with all my heart. In case you were delirious the first time I asked, will you marry me? I thought you never asked. Yes, come in. We need to talk. No, oh, can't wait till I've had coffee. I 
didn't sleep very well. No, it's waited long enough. I see. I'll just get right to it. I know I've always disappointed you. And we've never really had a good relationship. And I'd like to try to change that. Now? You'd like to change that now? Yes, right now. Yeah, we need to work this out while I have the nerve. Work what out? You don't like me. You never have liked me. And I've always known it. Why would I? You've never really liked me. Oh, don't be so silly. You're my son, and I love you very much. <laughs> I don't mean to hurt you, but your kind of love is what I've spent my whole adult life trying to avoid. You don't love people, Mother. You take them hostage. I don't want to hear any more of this. I'm going to take a shower. No, you're going to listen. I want to know why you've always made me feel less than all my life. Like I never did anything good enough. Like any choice I made was the wrong choice. All right. Would you like to know why? All right. I'll tell you why. I wanted you to be strong. I wanted you to be tough. I wanted to prepare you for just how rotten this world of ours can turn out to be. See, that's your world. It's not ours. Maybe that's your reality. It shouldn't have to be mine. Listen, I don't know anything about that. All I know is that I was trying to help you survive. Survive? I didn't want to just survive. I wanted what every kid in the world wants. I wanted my mother to love me, which is really stupid because she never loved anything but her opinions. And her hats and her jewelry and her lunches and her constant judgments. Well, I'm terribly sorry that you felt so unloved. But I did the very best I knew how to do. And I will not be punished for it this late in my life. I'll leave this morning. Don't want you to leave. Yes, well, I want to leave. You've been laying in wait for years to say this to me. Well, all right. You've said it. It is duly noted. We're adults. Can we try to resolve this? How do you resolve the fact that your own son doesn't particularly care for you? Would you like to tell me that? Now, please. Lee. I said everything you're not supposed to say as an adult. I told her I don't like her and that I don't want her kind of love. Wow. I, I went in there to make peace and uh, 40 years of crap came spewing out of me. Then what? She's leaving. Used to have one more relationship fall apart. 